Hello all of my Taku friends, my name is Prophet Taku, and welcome to my manga collection tour for 2024. <laughs> So before we get started with the manga collection tour, I did want to answer some frequently asked questions. I've been collecting since 2019. The shelves that I have are the mainstay Walmart shelves. Look, I've spent like thousands of dollars on this collection. The last thing I'm doing is buying some bougie bookshelves. And lastly, I organize my manga collection by demographic or genre in alphabetical order by publisher. And I don't really care about the aesthetic in terms of the volume heights. I just want to be able to have my manga collection organized so that I can find things easily. I'm going to leave timestamps down in the the description below so that if you want to jump around find a section that you're particularly interested in or you want to come back to this video you'll know exactly where you are so with that being said sit back relax and enjoy the tour so we're first going to start off here with the mangaka showcase shelf these are all creators that i have multiple series of that i just want to show off i'm not going to talk about every single series in my collection so if you have any questions or you want to know my opinion about something just leave a comment down below first up we have volume one of yashihime princess half demon this is the sequel series to inuyasha i have have all 18 viz bigs going up through volume 56 next up we have Mason Okoku volumes 1 to 10 in those collectors editions one of my favorite series from here a really fun rom-com series next to that we have Mao volumes 1 to 9 this is her currently serializing work and next to that we have Ranma one half volumes 1 to 19 in the omnibus format a prized possession in my collection the series I'm currently reading at the moment super fun shonen martial arts series this is an absolute blast the small volume we have here is came the mirror and other tales this is her short story collection and right after that is urusei yatsura one of her first series that put her on the map volumes 1 to 17 complete in these viz omnibuses rumiko takahashi is one of my favorite mangakas of all time she is an expert at writing characters and she is the godmother of manga in my opinion because she just writes so many different things it's really 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 awesome. Next up here is Akiko Higashimura. We have Princess Jellyfish, the box set complete, volumes one to nine. Then we have Blank Canvas, my so called artist journey. This is her autobiographical work, volumes one to five complete. And Tokyo Tararaba Girls, volumes one to nine complete. She is a fantastic shoujo slash jose mangaka, one of my favorites. If you're looking for a total tearjerker, I recommend Blank Canvas. It made me cry so much. I love the relationship between the sensei and her as she's growing up trying to become a mangaka. Next up is Inio Asano. I don't have too many things from him, but we have Dead Dead Demons Complete, volumes 1 to 12. Really fun sci-fi series. Next up is Downfall, a one-shot, and Solonin, a one-shot. Solonin is definitely a series that really is easy to dive into if you want to get into Inio Asano. Downfall is just weird <laughs> all right next up we're moving to takuhiko inoue first up is real volumes one two three six seven fourteen and fifteen wheelchair basketball manga i'm waiting for viz to reprint it so that i can finish this collection next up is slam dunk volumes one to thirty one complete i read this last year in november and i had an absolute blast with it a great sports manga and after slam dunk we have vagabond in the viz bigs volumes one to twelve complete with the volume 37 there this is on hiatus right now who knows if it's ever going to come back but i am glad to have what is out complete my goal is to read vagabond by the end of this year i have been holding on to these set of volumes for like four years now i think it's about time <laughs> next up here we have shuzo ashimi we have blood on the tracks volumes 1 to 15 up to date very very creepy actually all of his series are super creepy so go in with some warning if you want something messed up next up is happiness volumes 1 to 10 complete and inside mari volumes 1 to 9 complete and way in the corner there is my Tayo Matsumoto stuff. I love Tayo Matsumoto. I think he's a phenomenal mangaka that really dives into the human psyche and what it means to be human. So first up, we have number five, volumes one to four complete. That is a new release from Viz. Super glad to get that finished. 
Next up, we have Ping Pong Volumes 1 and 2 complete, Sunny Volumes 1 to 6 complete, and Tech on King Creek, the paperback version. I did not pick up the hardcover, but that is complete, a three-in-one omnibus. If you're looking to dive into Taya Matsumoto's work, I highly recommend Sunny. This is a beautiful story about orphans in Japan and just what they have to go through on a daily basis as they deal with the separation from their biological parents. This next section here is going to dive into all of the different romance, shoujo, and jose series. So we're first starting off with rom-com. Going up here, we have Cheerful Amnesia Volumes 1 to 2, up to date. Super, super fun series, nice and short and sweet about this girl who gets amnesia. Very, very funny. Dengeki Daisy Complete Volumes 1 to 16. I'm on Volume 4 right now. I'm thoroughly enjoying this series. Next up, we have Don't Toy With Me, Nis Nagatoro with the Books A Million exclusive cover, volumes one to 15 up to date. Starts a little rough, but it's definitely progressing very well. I can't wait to see how this wraps up. Next up is High School Debut, Volumes 1 to 15, complete in the Omnibuses. I love this series. Super underrated. If you want a romance shoujo series, dive into this one. If you are a beginner, it's a lot of fun, and I love the main characters. Next up, we have Horamiya, Volumes 1 to 16, complete with the two art books. Horamiya is good, not great, and I will die on that hill. It's fun. I love the main characters. I think the side characters are meh, and that's what detracts from the story. Next up is Kaguya-sama Love is War, volumes 1 to 27, up to date. I have ordered volume 28, and I have finished this series from beginning to end. This was a phenomenal rom-com series, my first rom-com series, and it stayed strong all the way to the end. Over here we have Kencha Bancho Otome, Volumes 1 and 2 complete. Very, very nice, short and sweet series. Very fun. Highly recommend that one. Made Sama complete, Volumes 1 to 18 in the Omnibuses. I have not read this, but it is below. Next up here is Marmalade Boy, Volumes 1 to 2. I have 3 and 4 on my TBR shelf. A great re release of a classic from Seven Seas. We have a one shot, The Secret of Friendship. That was a great one. My Love Story, Volumes 1 to 13 complete. This was great. Another shoujo series that needs to be in your collection if you love shoujo. Next up is Oh My Goddess from Dark Horse, Volumes 1 to 6 in the Omnibuses. I have pre ordered Volume 7. Oh Maidens in Your Savage Season, Volumes 1 to 8 complete. This is from the same person who created Anohana, which is really interesting to me. Or on High School Host Club, Volumes 1 to 18 complete. And their other series, Behind the Scenes, Volumes 1 to 7 complete. Rainbow Days, Volumes 1 to 7 up to date. I do have Volume 8 on my TBR shelf. Can't wait to dive into that newest volume. Stray Cat and Wolf, I just read this one from the same mangaka who does Cheeky Brat, Volumes 1 to 2 up to date. Sweat and Soap, probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite romance series of all time. Volumes 1 to 11 complete. Yes, it's about sweat and soap. And yes, it gets a little bit weird at the beginning, but let me tell you, it progresses into something very, very beautiful. The 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You, Volumes 1 to 5. I don't know why I picked this series up. <laughs> the Villainous Stands the Heroes, Volume 1. Tomo-chan is a girl, Volumes 1 to 8 complete. Uzaki-chan wants to hang out volumes one to seven man I've been sitting on those volumes forever I just need to read it and offload it at this point then we have Wotakoi love is hard for an otaku volumes one to five complete I love Wotakoi as many others do you've got weebs and otakus loving their interests with each other and that is just awesome to me a condition called love we have volumes one to four here on the shelf I have volume five on my TBR shelf I'm one volume behind in terms of catching up and being up to date this started off rough, but it's gotten a lot better. It's a typical high school romance, so if you don't want that, don't grab this one. A Sign of Affection, I have volume one there, and then I have volumes two through seven in the corner over there. I have not read that one yet. Banana Fish, we have volumes one to 19 complete. Glad to be able to get this during that reprint time. Bloom Into You, volumes one to eight, and volume one of the light novel. This is complete. Blue Flag, volumes one to eight complete. Then we have Bride of the Barrier Master, the manga adaptation, volume one. 
Dawn of the Arcana, Volumes 1 to 13 complete. I am missing Volume 7. I'm just waiting for that, and then I can binge this whole series. These are all by Ray Toma, which I really, really enjoy their work. Next up is The King's Beast, Volumes 1 to 11, up to date. Next up here is Don't Call It Mystery, Volumes 1 to 6 in the omnibus format. The newest Jose from Seven Seas. Very awesome that we're getting this beloved series in English. I have not read this yet, saving this for a rainy day. Gap Papa, Daddy at Work and at Home, Volumes 1 to 3, up to date. Probably one of my favorite wholesome slice of lives in my entire collection. Highly, highly recommend. This is super, super cute about this dad who is kind of a rock stone at work, but then at home, he's just like the most doting father and husband. It is adorable and it's in full color. We are with Given, Volumes 1 to 8, up to date, waiting for Volume 9 that finishes the collection. Insomniacs After School, Volumes 1 to 4. I just got Volume 5, so that puts me up to date. I love this series. It is so well done, so educational, and I love our main characters. We have a one shot here is Love the Answer. This is about a girl who is asexual and trying to figure out her place in life. Very, very interesting series. And we also have the self prints here of I sold my life for 10,000 yen, I think is what it is. Volumes one to three complete in the self prints. This is not officially published in English, but the light novel is. So if you are interested in checking out this series, I recommend going that route. Next up is Kamisama Kiss. I have volumes one to 18. I am missing volume 13. A lot of people love this series. I picked this up because it was super, super cheap, like $3 a volume, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to it. <laughs> Next up, we. We have two manga collections by Yuro Somino. We have I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, volumes one to three in the Omnibus, as well as I had that same dream again. Both of these series are absolutely phenomenal. Great manga adaptations. Highly recommend. Will tug at your heartstrings. A new Jose series. We have King in Limbo volumes one and two from Kadansha. If you like Inception, you'll like this one. If you like sci-fi. Next up is Kowloon Generic Romance volumes one to four. I have volumes five and six on my TBR shelf. This is really, really interesting. Slice of life, romance, mystery. It's got a little bit of everything in there. Love of Kill, volumes 1 to 10 here on the shelf, and then I have volumes 11 through 13 on my TBR. That makes this series complete in my collection. I really, really like it. It's confusing, but it's very interesting with assassins going after each other. Next up is a series we haven't gotten a volume for a while, Me and My Beast Boss, volume 1. This was okay. My Boy, volumes 1 to 9 from Vertical Age Gap, romance between an older woman and a younger boy. Heard it was really, really good. Next up is My Dear Curse Casting Vampire. Purist, volumes one and two on the shelf. I have volume three that I'm waiting to be read. This is up to date. Very, very good series. Highly underrated. Not a lot of people are reading that one. My Girlfriend's Child, volumes one to two. I have volume three on the TBR shelf. That makes it up to date. Beautiful story about teen pregnancy and all the ins and outs about it. Very educational. Highly recommend. We have Neighborhood Story. I have volumes one and two that is up to date. These are all by Ayazawa, and I'm super excited to get into their works. Next up, we have Nana, volumes one all the way to 21 up to date. Who knows if this is gonna keep going? It's been on hiatus for quite a while. And we also have Paradise Kiss in the 20th anniversary edition, volumes one to five complete in the omnibus format. Next up is Orange. I have this complete volumes one to seven. I wish I have the box set because those singles look amazing. Our Dreams at Dusk, volumes one to four complete LGBTQ plus manga that I really, really want to read. Society and Miano and all the different spinoffs. I am up to date on this. Lots of stuff to get through and I've never ingested anything from this universe. <laughs> Next up is Seaside Stranger, volumes one to three. She Loves to Cook, She Loves to Eat, volumes one to three. LGBTQ plus series, very, very good, very underrated. Skip and Loafer, volumes one one to eight up to date. This is a fantastic series about high school friendship. Highly recommend. And way here on the end by the same mangaka Skip and Loafer, we have a one shot BL series. Very, very well done. Same kind of vibe of friendship, but just in a BL setting. Very interesting. Next up is Something's Wrong With Us. Volumes one to 19 complete. A series beloved by a lot of people. Soap opera drama. The Moon on a Rainy Night. I have volumes one to three, almost up to date on this. This is a great series and navigating disabilities about being deaf and kind of finding yourself. The Savior's Book Cafe Story in Another World, volumes one to five complete. I love this series. If you want a beginning isekai series, this is the one for you. 
Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Volume 1. I also have Volume 2 here, so that puts me up to date. This is a really fun fantasy series. I highly recommend this one. Next up is my Mika Yamamori section. We have Subaki Cho Lonely Planet, Volumes 1 to 6, up to date. In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, Volumes 1 to 6, up to date and Daytime Shooting Star Volumes 1 to 12 complete. Probably my favorite shoujo mangaka of all time. I recommend all of her works. Great characters, great stories, great pacing. We have a one shot here, The God's Lie. And then we also have from the same mangaka, The Golden Sheep Volumes 1 to 3. Whisper Me a Love Song. I have volumes one to six, almost up to date. I thoroughly enjoy this Yuri music rock band manga. Until I Meet My Husband. This is a one shot just depicting this guy's journey into gay marriage in Japan. Usatoki Rhetoric, volumes one to three. Uh, this one's okay. I need to get on this train very, very soon. Yakuza Fiance, volumes one to three here on the shelf. I have four and five on my TBR. Uh, I really enjoy this series. Very edgy. I can't wait to see what these characters get up to. Your Lie in April, volumes one to 11 complete. Yona of the Dawn. I have volumes one all the way to 40 complete. Uh, up to date, that is. It's still ongoing. And then I also have an art book down there. I love Yona of the Dawn. I stopped at volume seven for some weird reason, and I really need to get back on this train. I don't know why I stopped. Next up here, we have the infamous wall shelf. I have taken this thing through three different moves to different states, but I absolutely love this thing. This is also a creator showcase shelf, just kind of showing off some of my favorite creators and all of their series. First off is Sutoshi Musakami, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, volumes one to 10 in the omnibus form complete spirit circle volumes one to six complete world and solte volumes one and two up to date sengoku yoko volumes one to six up to date i also have a bunch of japanese volumes from this creator a couple of one shots and then also planet with volumes one to eight complete i read this online i love satoshi Musakami. this is a creator who knows how to world build and do it well and continue to have high intense action so highly recommend this manga cut if you're looking for somebody a little bit more underground next up here we have gto complete volumes 1 to 25 i love this creator i love great teacher onizuka i have read all of the spinoffs however i did get rid of them because i sold them for a crazy price i just couldn't say no and last up here we have all of Naki Irasawa's works. I have everything that he's ever created and I highly recommend you check out my Naki Irasawa video just me rating all of these manga uh, and going into depth about everything about this mangaka just so that you know my feelings on all of these series. First up we have Monster Volumes 1 to 9 complete. Next up is one of the most rare manga in my collection. We have Pineapple Army in this very old Tonkabon release. Uh, this is just a one single volume, 10 chapters. Very, very underrated series by him. I also have them in the comic book format as well if you want to collect it this way. This is way easier to grab than the single Tonkabon volume. Next up, we have 20th Century Boys and 21st Century Boys in the singles, volumes 1 to 22 and then 1 and 2. Then we have Dancing Policeman. This is a one-shot short story collection. I self-printed this myself. This is not officially published in English. Then we have Sneeze, another short story collection. Think of this as like the old short story and the new short story. Then we have Mijurushi, The Sign of Dreams. This is a one shot here. This is okay. And then just, I, I know I'm not supposed to do uh, any of this stuff, but I do want to show this stuff off, even though we're just doing manga today. We have the hardcover art book. We have the guidebook. And then we also have a Beethoven CD with Naoki Urasawa doing the cover art for Beethoven. Very, very cool. I highly recommend the CD, by the way. It's really, really great playing by the Tokyo Philharmonic. Uh, next up here, we have Billy Bat, volumes 1 to 20, complete self-print, my favorite Naoki Irasawa work, and for good reason, probably his most comprehensive and complete work from beginning to end. We have Happy Here, volumes 1 to 12, so that compiles 23 volumes uh, of his tennis manga. Highly, highly underrated. These are also self-prints, not published in English, but I thoroughly enjoyed this read. We have Master Keaton here, volumes 1 to 12 in the omnibus format complete. Then we have NASA, another short story collection from him. 
Pluto, volumes one to eight complete. It's a retelling of an Astro Boy arc, phenomenal. And then his newest serializing work, Asadora, volumes one to seven up to date. I have two volumes on the TBR show. This next section is gonna be my Shonen section. We're gonna first start off with Shonen Jump and that's all these two rows going all the way down. First up is Akane Banashi, volumes one to four up to date. I love this new Shonen Jump series about Rakugo. Volumes 1 to 21 of Assassination Classroom Complete, the only anime series to make me cry. Volumes 1 to 20 Complete of Bakuman. And we have Volumes 1 to 3 of School Judgment. These are both from the same creator as Death Note. Next up, we have Black Clover. Volumes 1 to 34 up to date. I have 34 on my TBR shelf. Black Clover is probably my favorite fantasy Shonen Jump series. I have been reading this for quite a while and I thoroughly enjoy it. Next up, we have Dan to Dan, volumes one to five up to date. I don't actually think I'm up to date. I think I'm missing a volume. I have two volumes on my TBR shelf. Very, very fun, dark. Uh, Shonen Jump series. Not one that I would normally go for, but because it's so crazy, I really enjoy it. Volumes 1 to 4 up to date of Dark Gathering here. Volumes 1 to 13 of Dead Man Wonderland Complete. Next up, we have Haikyuu, my favorite sports series of all time. Volumes 1 all the way to 45 complete from beginning to end. I absolutely love this series. Characters are the name of the game here. So many great characters, so much great character development, and a series I cannot recommend enough. Next up here is Hunter x Hunter, volumes 1 all the way to 37 up to date. Hopefully he's able to finish this series, Tagashi Sensei. I'm really, really hoping that he does. I know his health isn't the greatest. Also from Tagashi Sensei, Yu Yu Hakusho, volumes one to 19 complete. Glad to have picked this up during the reprint time. Next up we have Kaiju number eight. I have volumes one to nine up to date. I have seven here on the shelf. This is a fun series. It is on the chopping block though because it is typical Shonen Jump, but I do like our main character that he's an older character. Next up is Mission Yozakura Family. I have volumes one to seven. This is definitely on the chopping block. You wanna talk about stereotypical Shonen Jump, this is gonna be it for you, but I do enjoy the cast of characters. This is why I still have it in my collection. Next up is My Hero Academia. I have volumes one to 35, and then I'm missing 36 for some weird reason, and then volume 37. So that puts me up to date. My Hero Academia, I don't need to talk about it. Next up, we have One Piece. I have the two spinoff manga that just got released, and then I also have One Piece volumes one all the way to volume 90 there. I am up to volume 45, I think. So I just finished Water Cell 7. I'm about to go into Thriller Bark. I haven't read this series in about two years, so I just, I'm just doing a disservice at this point as a manga tuber. Next up here is One Punch Man. I have volumes one to 14. Baroni Kenshin, volumes one all the way to 28 complete in the singles. And then I also have a little light novel here as well. Next up, we have Sakamoto Days, volumes one to 11 up to date. I love Sakamoto Days, probably one of my favorite new gen Shonen Jump manga. Next up is Spy Family. I have the guidebook, and then I also have volumes one to 11 up to date. Spy Family is like hit or miss to me. I just love the characters, but I feel like some of the storytelling issues are really apparent with how non-linear the story is. Next up, we have The Promised Neverland, volumes one to 20 complete. Also, we have a little spinoff volume right here as well. I have not read Promised Neverland yet, and I am really dragging my feet with this series. I'm not sure why I haven't read it yet it is such a different shonen jump series from what i've heard next up we have Yu-Gi-Oh! volumes one all the way to 38 complete in the omnibuses i also have the uh seto kaiba voice actor eric stort he signed my copy of the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga which is super super cool i stopped reading this after volume one because it was so weird and i know that it's not part of the card game they really didn't get into the card game aspect until volume two so i just need to dive back into this because i know i'm gonna love it next up here we have fire force volume one all the way to 34 complete this was a great series a lot of fan service at the beginning a kind of convoluted storyline by the end but with that being said the journey was a lot of fun and I love all the action in here 
Next up from the same creator, we have Soul Eater volumes 1 to 25 complete in the singles. I stopped reading it after volume 10. This is one of the first series that I read actually in 2019, so I need to get back on this soon. Next up is a new series that I picked up, Initial D in the Omnibuses Volume 1, so that compiles 1 and 2. Next up, we have Welcome to Demon School Arumakun Volumes 1 to 4. This is okay. I'm thinking about dropping this one, to be honest with you. Reborn as a Vending Machine, I now wander the Dungeon Volumes 1 and 2 up to date. This is a three volume manga series. Lots of fun. Very good Isekai. Highly recommend. Pandora 7, I have volumes 1 and 2 up to date. Shy, volumes 1 to 5 up to date. Uh, so, what's what is this? <laughs> I may be a guild receptionist, but I'll solo any boss to clock out on time. Volumes 1 and 2 up to date. This is a very fun manga adaptation of a light novel. It's crazy, it's a funny premise, and highly recommend. Next up we have, So What's Wrong With Being Reborn As A Goblin, Volumes 1 to 4, up to date. Probably one of my favorite Isekai series along with the Vending Machine one. Eminence and Shadow, I have Volumes 1 to 9, up to date. This is a super fun fantasy comedy series. Next up is an out of print series that I have. This is The Melancholy of Harui Suzumiya. This is Volumes 1 to 20 complete of the manga and then we have a bunch of different spin-offs here these are all manga as well so we have volume 12 here of the melancholy of suzumiya haruhi chan which is like a four coma chibi style and then we have the disappearance of nagato yuki chan volumes 1 to 10 here so this whole thing i actually picked up online i know nothing of this kind of series but i have heard that the anime is beloved so I am going to read this and if I don't like it, I'll go ahead and sell it off. It got its uh, claim to fame through the light novel. So we'll see how the manga adaptations do. Next up here, we have The World's Strongest Rear Guard, Volume 1. We have The Hero is Overpowered but Overly Cautious, Volume 1. This is a lot of fun. I need to pick up more of this. This is a, uh, this is a lot of fun. Next up, we have Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. We have the After School Hanako-kun. And then we also have Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, Volumes 1 to 19 up to date. I have three volumes on the TBR shelf. I really, really enjoy this series. Lots of supernatural stuff in here, and the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Next up is a new acquisition, A Certain Scientific Railgun. I have Volumes 1 to 18 up to date. So glad that this got reprinted, so I was able to pick this up for a fantastic price and get into this Rail Dex universe. Next up is Kimono Jihen, Volumes 1 to 8. Uh, up to date. I'm still missing one volume, I think, but I do enjoy this shonen series, even though there's some stereotypical plot points to it. Bungo Stray Dogs, but with the younger cast of characters. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, volumes 1 to 12. Laughing Under the Clouds, volumes 1 to 6 complete. This is a really interesting shonen series. A lot of people like this. Some historical aspects, some fantasy aspects. Next up here, we have a horror shonen. We have Summertime Rendering, volumes 1 to 6, complete from Udon Entertainment in these very cheap box sets. But I did thoroughly enjoy this series, one I'm definitely going to reread. A very, very good series, and I'm not a big horror fan, as many of you know. Next up, we go into my Osama Tezuka stuff. We have 100 Tales right here from A Blaze Manga. Then we have Clockwork Apple. This is a short story collection. Then we have Message to Adolf. This is a very, very good series. One to two complete in the hardcovers, but a fantastic historical fiction manga. One that I cannot recommend enough to put in your collection. Then we have Adam the Beginning. This is volumes one and two. This is a prequel to Astro Boy. I have volumes one to 23 in the single pocket versions from Dark Horse. Glad to have this in my collection. A very, very nice pickup for me several years back, but I really do need to read Astro Boy and see what all the hype is about and see if it aged well. This is a series that keeps jumping out at me for me to read and I just never get around to it. This next section here is going to be my slice of life comedy section. I'm really, really looking forward to showing you all all this stuff. It's really, really cool. First off is Akka 13, volumes 1 to 6, complete by Natsume Ono. I've really enjoyed a lot of their works recently. A Man and His Cat, volume 1 to 9, up to date. I'm missing one volume that I know is coming soon, but A Man and His Cat is absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for a cat manga that has a lot more to bring to the table than just cats, try this one out. Very dramatic. Aria the Masterpiece in these beautiful editions by Tokyo Pop. This is volumes one to seven. It compiles the entire series. 
absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite slice of life series of all time. I love the world and I love the characters. I love the character development. I love the sci-fi aspect to it. So if you're looking for a slice of life that's really, really interesting and different, check this one out. Next up, we got some comedy manga here. Azumanga Daio volumes one to four. School life, very, very funny. Each volume is a different year in school. Yotsuba volumes 1 to 15 up to date about a girl who is experiencing life as a six-year-old just going through living life and it's absolutely hilarious. Yotsuba is a character is one of my favorite characters of all time and this is just a beautiful beautiful manga. It's still ongoing too so it's pretty long running. Next up is Barakamon volumes 1 to 18 complete. I love Barakamon. I love the premise. I love say Honda. I love that he's going to this country side and he's trying to do calligraphy with all these villagers it's hilarious i love the children in this story i think that they bring a lot to the table a phenomenal manga and one that i don't see enough people talking about to be honest with you next up is bl metamorphosis one through five complete have not tried this one out yet but i've heard a lot of great things one of my favorite manga of all time, Blue Giant, volumes 1 to 10 complete. And these omnibuses, these are out of order. <laughs> but I absolutely love this music coming of age manga. It's very well done. And I love the characters in here and the character progression. Next up is Blue Period. I have volumes 1 through 6 over here. And then all the way down there, it goes up through volume 13, up to date. This has been a phenomenal manga about art and coming into your own and following your dreams in blue period is just a fantastic manga and a great starter manga for anybody who wants to try something a little bit off the beaten path after blue period here we have bochi the rock volume one i tried volume one i didn't really like the manga tried the anime the anime is much better than the manga i recommend you go that route call the name of the night one through three up to date it's a five volume series it's an interesting one it's like the knockoff version it's like wish version of witch had atelier <laughs> so go with it at your own risk i guess we have one of my favorite out of print but one of my favorite comedy series of all time cromarty high school volumes 1 to 17 this is complete i have volumes 1 through 12 and then 13 through 17 are self prints but cromarty high school high school is absolutely fantastic absolutely hilarious really dumb stupid humor so if that's your type of comedy then i recommend checking this out next up is dementia 21 this is a very trippy manga about this girl who is a nursing home aide and she encounters different people who do really creepy old people things so yeah this is a lot of fun and is this by fantagraphics in a box set absolutely beautiful edition next up is detroit metal city volumes one through ten this is complete dinosaur sanctuary volume one on the shelf two and three in the tbr it's like jurassic park but slice of life and a lot more wholesome Doomsday with my dog volumes one through three here on the shelf volume four on the TBR I love this manga super underrated super witty humor post-apocalyptic manga but just done in a little bit of a different way full color I love the dog character he's really really funny so highly recommend you check this one out it's a very underrated series Eminon volumes one through three from Dark Horse have not tried this series out yet Free Run Beyond Journey's End, 1 through 8 on the shelf, 9 and 10 in the TBR stack. Free Run, I don't need to say anything about it. I thoroughly enjoy it. Next up is Genshikin. The first season in the single volumes from Del Rey, volumes 1 to 9 complete. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the second season just because I heard that the second season kind of takes a turn for the worse. So I think I'll just stick with the first season. We are with Girls Last Tour, volumes one through six, complete slice of life, post-apocalyptic manga, very, very sad and hopeful at the same time. It's just really, really interesting. The art style is fantastic. One of the most underrated series in my collection. God Bless the Mistaken, volume one, a brand new series. Very interesting. If you want to hear my thoughts on it, check out my reading log from last Last month grand blue dreaming comedy series volumes one all the way to 17 this is not up to date i really need to read this i need to know why in the world this is rated so high on my anime list i did read the first volume i wasn't necessarily like blown away so i, I just got to see what this is all about we are with heterolinguistico volumes one to four this is up to date 
basically following these two characters as they're going through different worlds, different societies, and interacting with the locals there and learning the language. Seems really interesting, but I heard that it's slow paced. And with this release schedule being like once a year, I don't know how this is gonna last in my collection once I get around to reading it. Speaking of a comedy series that I really wanna try out here, we have Hina Matsuri, volumes one to 16. Uh, this just completed and I really want to go ahead and finish it, but I need to start it because I really want to know what this is all about. I am very afraid this is going to go out of print for some weird reason. Everybody who's been talking about it said this is a hilarious comedy series, so I am very much intrigued. Next up here, we've got, let me see, what's in here? Uh, Receptionist in a Magical World, Volume 1, 2, and 3 are in my TBR stack. This is just okay. Um, I recommend you move on to something else. <laughs> in the Land of Leedale, Volumes 1 to 4 here on the shelf, 5 in the TBR. A basic fantasy isekai series, really nothing special, and I really mean nothing special. Here we are with Junji Ito's Cat Diary, Junji Ito with Cats, that's all you need to know. Kinero Mosaic, volumes 1 to 11 complete, and we also have the kind of wrap-up sequel volume there. Uh, Kinero Mosaic is really interesting. Think of it like k -On or some manga like that, School Life with kids, or Azamango Dio is a good example, but just less funny. But it's still good. Uh, it's just, it takes a little while to get through these volumes. Moving on here, we've got k -On. We've got k -On Shuffle, Volume 1. We have k -On the Regular Manga, Volume 1. I'm just going anime for k -On, so I have no desire to pick up that big omnibus. But I do like k -On Shuffle. That's a lot of fun. A uh, sequel series following a different set of girls, so I recommend you check that out if you like k -On. Next up is my favorite Slice of Life series, or one of my favorite Slice of Life series of all time, Laid Back Camp. Volumes 1 to 14. This is up to date. If you love camping, if you like slice of life, if you like school life, if you like great characters, if you like really interesting worlds, Laid Back Camp is going to be the one for you. I absolutely love this series. Next to it is Life Lessons with Iramichi Onisan. I have volumes 1 to 4 in these omnibuses. This is up to date. This is really funny. As a working man, it really tugs at my heartstrings going through the daily toils of work and these kids are just laughing at you and that's just basically my life. So <laughs> yeah, Life Lessons of Urumichi Onisan, very, very funny, very, very underrated. We've got two one shots here by Tatsuki Fujimoto, Look Back and Goodbye Eerie. They were both very, very good. Magical Girl Incident, Volume 1, following a guy who has the ability to turn into a magical girl. Very, very funny, very, very interesting. I've got Volume 2 on the TBR shelf waiting to be read. March Comes In Like a Lion, Volume 1, critically acclaimed series. Volume 2 just got released. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Can't wait to read it. My Dear Friend Nokaton, Volumes 1 to 3. I'm not up to date. I need to get Volume 4. Hilarious series. Totally stupid series about this girl who's a deer and this Yakuza girl. They go to high school together. They start the deer club. It is so stupid, but I really, really enjoy it. We have Nichi Joe here, volumes 1 to 10 in the box set, volume 11 here on the on the outside. I did enjoy Nichi Joe the anime. I watched about half of it, so I got the manga just to try it out. Next up is Nodame Cantabile, volumes 1 to 15. I am missing volume 16 of the physicals. I don't know if I'll ever find it, but I am glad to have this in my collection. It's a music manga, and it's really, really critically acclaimed, so I'm just glad that I was able to pick this up and find it at a good price. Here we are with the first two volumes of Oku. I have not read this series yet. It's a 19-volume series. I've heard people say it's good, people say it's not good, so it's not high on my TBR, to be honest with you. Phantom of the Idol, volumes 1 to 5. If you want something way more funny and way more wholesome than Oshinoko, then I recommend Phantom of the Idol. It does a lot of good things. It's really silly, and it's a really good look into the idol world. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoy the series. I'm very surprised with it. Next up is Sleepy Princess and the Demon Castle, volumes 1 to 15. I got this series very cheap, and then I never read it. So there you go. <laughs> Next up is volumes 1 and 2, A Saint. No, I'm just a passing beast tamer very silly fantasy series so if you're looking for something to turn your brain off check this one out shonen note boy soprano volumes one and two on the shelf three four and five in the tbr stack it's good it's not great i was kind of thrown off with volume two so we'll keep going with it and see how it goes next up is silver spoon volumes one to 15 complete i watched the first two seasons of the anime for this i thoroughly enjoyed it so i decided to pick up the full manga set of this follows a boy who goes to an agricultural high school 
Next up is Sweetness and Lightning, Volumes 1 to 12, Complete, Super Sweet and Wholesome Slice of Life series. The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again Today, Volumes 1 to 6. Volume 7 is on the TBR stack. One of my favorite comedy series of all time follows this office girl worker and her massive cat. It is very, very funny. Next up is The Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting, Volumes 1 to 4. A very good children's manga, very wholesome with some edginess in there with the Yakuza. Very cool. Next up is Touring After the Apocalypse, Volumes 1 to 3, Volume 4 on the TBR shelf. It's good, not great. It's on the chopping block. Seems kind of boring sometimes. I need there to be an overarching story. It just can't be episodic with these girls traveling around to these different spots after the apocalypse. Next up is Twin Spica, Volumes 1 to 12 Complete, one of my favorite sci-fi slice of life series of all time. I absolutely love the messages in here as well about going for your dreams. Next up here is Witch Life in a Micro Room, Volume 1. This was just okay, nothing special, there's better things out there. Next up is Yokohama Kadashi Kiko, Volumes 1 to 3. Volume 4 is on the TBR shelf. This is a really interesting manga, following the downfall of humanity as you follow this robot named Alpha as she lives out her days running a coffee cafe. Really, really slow and introspective, very interesting. Then we've got the indie manga section here. I'm starting to build up this indie manga manga section. First up we have Bat Kid. This is the earliest instance of a shonen baseball manga. Young Alive in Love Volume 1. Sci-fi manga. Very good. Three volume series. I want to try out more of it. Wonder House of Horrors. A short story horror collection. Very very funny. Very very good from Starfruit Books. A Favorable Wind on Full Sails. This is a short story collection. I did not enjoy this at all. Then we have Mississippi right here. This is a really, really interesting one. It's called Invisible Parade. It's another short story collection. This is good. This is by Pampaya. These are two short story collections, An Invitation from a Crab and Guyabano Holiday. Both I thoroughly recommend. Then we have Nananba. This is a very, very good manga. Very interesting. It follows yokai and this boy kind of growing up with his grandmother. Leliola, this is a short story collection. I did not enjoy that. And then we have Pandora right here, which is a really, really great short story collection by a mangaka by the name of Ray. Uh, they did a really interesting job just going through loss and how to get through grief and stuff like that. So that's a really, really interesting one. And there's a lot of watercolor drawings in here. So that's really, really interesting as well. All right, so we're back at the first bookshelf here. We are gonna go through the seinen part of my collection. And just like the shonen part, it wraps all the way through this bottom row. And then it goes to some bookshelves back there, but we'll touch that when we get to it. But let's start right over here. We have volume one of Shirley. This is a two volume series by Mori Sensei. The second volume never did get published in English. Next up, we have A Bride Story in these beautiful hardcovers, volumes 1 to 14, up to date. And we also have Emma in the hardcovers, volumes 1 to 5, so that compiles the 10 volume series there. We also have Scribbles, which is a sketchbook by Mori Sensei. I have the first two volumes here up to date. I am sad to say I have not read of any of Mori Sensei's works. I'm really saving these for a rainy day just because I know that they're going to be phenomenal. But I am glad to have everything in my collection, especially Emma, because this was pretty out of print for a while and then yen press reprinted these a couple of years ago next up is akira volumes one to six complete i have the box set and akira is a wonderful manga i thoroughly enjoyed it much more than the movie i actually read the manga first which really kind of killed my mood to watch the movie because there was just so much missing next up here is all you need is kill a two volume omnibus here i have not read this but i have watched the western adaptation of the hollywood movie and i really enjoyed it so this is actually one of the first manga i ever picked up next up is alice in borderland i have the complete series i just completed it a couple weeks ago and i actually read the last volume like a couple days ago i loved this series everything about it is amazing if you want death games this is going to be the one for you Moving on down here, we've got Beast Stars Volumes 1 to 22 complete, and I also have Beast Complex Volumes 1 and 3. Do I like furries? Am I a furry? I don't know. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I have read volume one, so I am looking forward to reading the rest of the series when the time comes. Moving on down, we have Berserk, volumes one to 14 in those collector's hardcover editions. 
I have not read Berserk. Please don't ask. I want to read Berserk. I am going to read Berserk by the end of this year. I promise. I promise. I promise. I just haven't gotten to it. It's just not anything that really kind of makes me like want to dive right into it right away. Dark Fantasy is not my cup of tea and I think y'all know that. Next up is Black Lagoon. I do have the first volume here and I haven't picked up any more of it. We have Blade of the Immortal volumes 1 to 10 in these beautiful deluxe hardcovers from Dark Horse. This is a series I have not read. I have read this manga because other work Wave listened to me. I did enjoy it, not enough to keep it, but I am looking forward to reading this eventually. Next up are the first three volumes of Boy's Abyss. This is a super dark, messed up manga. If you like Blood on the Tracks, you'll absolutely love this. Next up is Doro Hodoro. I have volumes 1, 2, 23 complete of the series. I thoroughly enjoyed my read of this. I love the characters. I love the world. And I think that it's just a very, very comprehensive, well thought out story. From the same creator, we have Die Dark volumes 1 to 5, a sci-fi series I haven't gotten into yet. Next up, we have The Drifting Classroom, a horror manga, an older manga setting as well by Umez Sensei. He is a pioneer in horror manga, so I'm really glad to have his stuff in my collection. Next up is Erased, volumes 1 to 5 by K. Sanba. I really enjoyed my read of Erased. It's one of my first mystery manga I've ever read, and one of the first manga I read that I didn't watch the anime for first off. Next up from the same creator, we have Island in a Puddle, just a five volume series. I did enjoy volume one, so I really need to get on the train for the rest of this thing. Moving on down, we have The Girl from the Other Side in the four hardcovers, so that compiles the 12 volumes. These are probably the nicest hardcovers in my collection. Absolutely beautiful, a Seinen series that is beloved by many with really beautiful messaging in here, so I cannot wait to dive into this one. Next up from the same creator, we have Monotone Blue. This is a one-shot BL series, and it's set in an animal, anim, animorphic, animor, the animal world. <laughs> but this is really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was really interesting, especially with the character designs as well. So it just kind of gave me a glimpse of what's to come for Girl on the Other Side. Next up, we have Glitch Volumes 1 to 2. This is up to date. Very interesting four volume series. I can't wait to see how this ends. A very interesting mystery where this world is glitching out. Next up is a series I just completed Golden Kamui or Kamui, however you want to pronounce it. Volumes 1, 2, 31, all the way down there. That is complete. I thoroughly enjoyed this series. I was so sad that it ended. I had a lot of fun with this series. It's got everything you want in a Seinen manga. It's got cooking, fighting, history, intensity, romance. It just has everything that you want, and it's such a great series. Moving right down the line, we have Inuyashiki Volumes 1 to 10 complete. This is from the same creator as Gantz, and I do have the first volume right there. I have not read this series, but a lot of people say that they love this series. It's really, really cool. I have seen anime clips of this, so I'm very much intrigued, and I'm intrigued by the premise of two people who turn into robots in some way, shape, or form, and then they're just using their abilities in different ways. Really, really weird. Next up, we have Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji, volumes one to three. This is not up to date. I think I'm missing one volume. I have not read this yet. I heard it was a slow burn. In terms of gambling, moving down the road, we have Kakaguri, volumes one to 16, up to date. I've read four volumes of this. I don't like the storytelling of it, but I do like the gambling aspect of it, especially because I do gamble a little bit on the side uh, at the casino playing poker so yeah this is a fun series but there's just some problems with the actual writing itself the rest of this section down here these two rows and everything here continues my sane in section first up is Knights of Sidonia 1 to 7 in these beautiful master editions from vertical comics Next up, we have Land of the Lustrious, volumes 1 to 12, up to date. I heard that the last chapter just dropped, so this series is concluded. Can't wait to see how this wraps up in English. Next up is Made in Abyss, volumes 1 to 11, up to date. This is a phenomenal series. I love the world in here, and it is just so messed up. It is so cool. I feel like I'm going with them 
going through these treasures going through these different levels and it just keeps on ramping up in craziness so yeah this is a great seinen series next up we have some madoka magica stuff there is the original series here in a three volume omnibus and then we've got two more down here we have the different story or the different side of the same original story just from a different perspective and then we have suzume magica here uh this is a spin-off series so this one was fun too all of these i really do like the madoka magica manga it, it's nice and concise in three volumes it just it does what it needs to do and it just gets it out of the way next up we have some gundam manga here we have mobile suit gundam the origins in the hard covers volumes 1 to 12 can't wait to dive into this series i heard that this is one of the best manga of mobile suit gundam speaking of good manga for mobile suit gundam we have mobile suit gundam thunderbolt volumes 1 to 21 up to date and let me tell you i absolutely love this series i've had a blast reading this and i am just waiting for volume 4 to come in it has been out of print for so so long but with that being said the first six seven volumes of this series are pretty slow but then once you start getting into the latter volumes you are going to be rewarded with a phenomenal story next up in this same manga we've got char's counter-attack in the mobile suit gundam universe volume one this is the newest manga being adapted for the mobile suit gundam franchise and down here we have mobile suit gundam wing this is the endless waltz glory of the losers it's not necessarily a manga adaptation of mobile suit gundam wing it's like what wing wanted to be from what i heard from the creators so that's really cool and i'm curious to see how this plays out moving on down the trail and i apologize for the lighting it's really dark in this area we have nausicaa in the valley of the wind in the beautiful box set volumes one and two by hayao miyazaki also from miyazaki we have shuna's journey a really really interesting one shot i love the art style in it it's kind of more of a watercolor thing Here's another short story collection that's really, really good. Uh, one more step. How do you pronounce? One more step. Come stand by my side. All these stories are really interesting. And there's one story in here that just broke my heart. Very good. Highly recommend. Okay, now we're moving into some Furuya Sensei manga. I have actually only read... I read No Longer Human, but I read the Ito version, so I actually haven't actually read any of Furuya Sensei's manga, but we have No Longer Human in this complete edition from Kidansha. Glad that we got this re-released. And down here, we have The Music of Marie, a manga tons of people are talking about. Tons of people said this is amazing, so I need to get on this really quickly. Next up, we have Planetess, one of my favorite manga of all time, volumes one and two in these beautiful Dark Horse omnibuses. This is great. Sci-fi space. I, I, I can't get enough of sci-fi space. I think that it's just a phenomenal genre of manga, and I love it so, so much. And next up, we've got Vinland Saga, volumes one, all the way to 13, so that puts me up to date. No, I don't plan on buying the deluxe editions. I think these are just fine. I've read through the first two omnibuses, and I thoroughly enjoy what I read so I need to get back on this train because I really really like historical fiction next up here is Robo Sapiens this is a one shot I guess you could call it a short story collection but they're all the short stories are connected with each other and it's basically telling you about how the world is changing with technology it's very very good one of the most underrated one shots in my collection highly recommend you pick this one up run on your new legs i have the first two volumes on the shelf and i have three four and five on my tbr this is a sports manga about a kid who has lost his legs in a uh, accident playing soccer and now he's starting to run again so that's really interesting the essence of being amused volume one on the shelf two and three on my tbr shelf about a girl who wants to become an artist kind of a coming of age story with a dark twist Speaking of Dark Twist, we have The Summer Hikaru Died, Volumes 1 and 2 here on the shelf. This is up to date. Really, really interesting series about a boy and his best friend, but his best friend actually died, and so his body's been taken over by an alien. Very creepy. Uh, the Witch in the Night Must Survive, Volume 1 on the shelf, Volume 2 on the TBR. This is good, not great. I'm curious to see where this volume goes. Chojin X by Sui Hashida Sensei. We have volume one here, volume two and three, and I also have four and five on the TBR shelf. Great series. I'm really enjoying this. There are some stereotypical parts written in here that are very similar to Tokyo Ghoul, 
But with that being said, I feel like it is its own entity with some of the powers and also just with some of the character interactions. So yeah, I'm enjoying the series, but I can see why people don't enjoy it. From Clamp, we have Tokyo Babylon. I got volume one here, volume two in the TBR. I am up to date with this. I thought volume one was really weird, so I'm gonna give it another shot but we'll see how this one goes. It didn't impress me. Next up here, we have Tokyo Ghoul, volumes one to 14 complete, and Tokyo Ghoul Re, volumes one to 16 complete. I don't need to say anything about Tokyo Ghoul, it's fine. Next up is Tokopi's Original Sin, a two volume omnibus here, one shot. Uh, this is really, really good, very introspective, really has some interesting messaging about children being put in unfortunate situations some new supernatural aspects in here as well i recommend you give this a try it may not be everybody's cup of tea but it definitely was mine next up here we have a silent voice in these beautiful hardcovers so this compiles all seven volumes in the two hardcovers silent voice is beautiful a beautiful depiction of disabilities and girl being deaf and hard of hearing and the struggles that she goes through and a redemption story with a boy i just think it's very well done one of the first manga i ever read next up is to your eternity i have volumes 1 to 18 i actually just dropped the series a couple a uh, couple weeks ago this is a series i have never seen this before a series that was basically a 10 out of 10 and then one arc just made its downfall just insane volumes 1 to 12 10 out of 10 the newest arc 13 to 18 just completely ruined the series for me so yeah this really kind of blew my mind in terms of how fast it just fell off the cliff next up here is a new series primal gods and ancient times i got volume one here on the shelf and i got volume two on the tbr thought volume one was okay it was interesting about these people going around interacting with gods and battling them uh getting these spirit things so yeah kind of interesting uh uh, I wouldn't check it out yet. I'll let you know how volume two is. Witch Hat Atelier, volumes one to ten. This is up to date. And then I also have the spinoff Kitchen Manga, volume one. Uh, I read the first chapter of this and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but this is an award-winning fantasy series. Basically, everybody who's read it said that they love it. So yeah, this is one that I need to get on sooner rather than later. Next up, we have Ajin. We have volumes one to 17 complete. Ajin is phenomenal, one of my favorite seinen series of all time, one of the best antagonists of all time, and one of the coolest worlds of all time. Very fast paced, very well done. I cannot recommend this enough, and I know Kidansha is now releasing this in an omnibus format, so I recommend you go with that. Next up is Battle Angel Alita, I got volume 1 there. And after that we have Battle Royale from Tokyo Pop volumes 1 to 15 complete. I love this series. I love Death Games. I'm so glad that I got this for an amazing price back in 2019. And it's one of my prized possessions in my collection, even though it's like sitting in the corner just away from everybody. <laughs> and then we also have uh, Battle Royale, the spinoff volume here. Next up, we've got Bungo Stray Dogs. I've got volumes one all the way to 22. This is up to date. And then I've got some spinoff stuff here as well. I've got some volumes of one. I've got some volumes of just some other random spinoffs and stuff like that. And I know there's new things coming out for the Bungo Stray Dogs universe. I've read up through nine volumes of this and I thoroughly enjoyed what I read. And then I just kind of stopped reading it because I was just looking to read something different at the time. But once I get back into my seinen kick, I'm definitely going to go ahead and dive back into this one because I love the power system and I really love the characters. Next up is Case Study of Vanitas. I have volumes 1 to 10 up to date. I have not read this series yet, but I've heard some good things about this series. I have read this though. This is a one-shot Crimson Shell by the same mangaka. A very interesting fantasy one-shot with some interesting characters. So I really enjoyed what I read from here. So I'm excited to get back into their other works. Next up is The Country Without Humans. I've got volumes one to three on the shelf, volume four on the TBR, so that puts me up to date. Five volume series, really, really cool sci-fi dystopian series. So if you're looking for something kind of off the beaten path, I recommend this one about a girl who is living in a society where she's the only human left in a world of robots. Next up is Dead Mount Death Play. I've got volume one and volume nine. Go with the clouds north by northwest, volumes one to five here on the shelf, six on the TBR, up to date with this one. This is a really, really cool mystery series. If you're looking for something different with a really interesting main character, I recommend this one. 
From the same mangaka, we have Ran in the Gray World. This is a fantasy seven volume series. I have not read this one, but I heard that this one is the one that everybody is diving into. Some phenomenal, beautiful artwork. And yeah, it looks really, really interesting. Next up here is ID Invaded volumes one to three. This is hashtag break broken. This is basically a spinoff, like a side story of the ID Invaded original anime. Please do not read this unless you've watched the original anime. None of this will make sense to you. So yeah, and I would definitely binge all three volumes at once. Don't read it one at a time like me. You'll just forget what's going on. Next up, we have Oshinoko. I've got volumes one to four on the shelf, volume five on the TBR. I am up to date. I really, really enjoy Oshinoko. I like the writing of this. I like that each volume is its own kind of arc, if you wanted to say that. But I also like how there's continuous progression in the actual overall plot of the story. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this one. We've got some manga tucked in the corner here. We've got volumes one to six of Psycho Pass. This is a prequel series series to the original anime so I am looking forward to reading that next up we have shadows house we've got volumes one to four here on the shelf and I got volumes five and six on the TBR really really enjoy shadows house very interesting world you've got the shadows that have no emotions that can be expressed with their face so they have these living dolls that express it for them really dark and mysterious some messed up things going on in here Next up, we have The Apothecary Diaries. I've got volumes one, two, three, four, and five here on the shelf. I've got six through nine on the TBR. Uh, I really enjoy this series. I really love our main character. I think her name is Momo. Very strong, very well-written character. Really interesting mystery things going on in here too. I just love how they kind of guide you through the mystery and it's it's fun, it's really intriguing. And there's all the obviously an overarching story with this as well. So each mystery kind of gives you another piece of the puzzle. I think it's just very well written. And last up here for Seinen is volume one of Your Forma. I don't know why we haven't gotten any more of this. I need to research that, but this is phenomenal. If you love Inception, if you love mystery, this is gonna be the one for you. I've got a small manhwa collection here that I will show off just very quickly. I've got a business proposal, volume one, two, three, and four on the TBR, I'm up to date. Bloody Sweet, one and two, up to date. The Villainous turns the hourglass one and two up to date. Jungle Juice one, two, and three. Heard really good things about this one up to date. Not so wicked stepmom volumes one, two, three up to date. Next up, we have the Remarried Empress volumes one to six up to date. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint volumes one and two up to date. This one's really, really cool. I've been loving reading this. Here we are with The Boxer by JH volumes one through five up to date. This has been one of my favorite manhwa reads so far. The Horizon also by JH volumes one, two, and three. This is complete. The best manhwa I've ever read and it is absolutely phenomenal if you love dystopian apocalyptic manga. And then here we are with Tomb Raider King, volumes one to four. We have What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, volume one. I've got two, three, and four on my TBR. And we have Villainous Are Destined to Die. This is volumes one and two here on the shelf. And I've got three, four, five, six on the TBR. I really enjoyed this one. This is my first manhwa I ever read. This next area is the oversized shonen manga section because obviously all my shonen manga fit onto these top two shelves. These are really for the smaller trim stuff. So I have to put everything over here. First up is Apare Ranman. This is an anime original. This is the manga adaptation one through three complete in an all in one. This is really, really fun racing manga if you're interested in that. Cells at Work volumes one to six complete in the box set. Cross Game volume one to three. And I am getting a big chunk of volumes here in a little bit. They have just reprinted this. So basically I'm just waiting for volume six. This is a beloved shonen baseball manga. We have Death Note. This is the short story collection. I really enjoyed this read. Lots of cool things in here. Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Editions, volumes 1 to 18 complete. And I also have the 25th anniversary book or the 20th anniversary book. Yep. And Full Metal Alchemist, I have watched the anime Brotherhood and I really am interested in the source material. I want to see what Arakawa Sensei has to bring to the table. Next up is Fist of the North Star, volumes 1 to 6 here in the hard covers. And next to it is Tokyo Revengers. Volumes 1 to 18 in these omnibuses, a phenomenal read. I've been thoroughly enjoying Tokyo Avengers time travel, gangs, what can you not like about this? We have Welcome to the Ballroom over there, volumes 1 to 11. This is up to date. 
we've got two volumes of Yawamushi Pedal. Uh, the Yawamushi Pedal is out of print right now. Uh, volume 3 is nowhere to be found, so I've decided to not collect any more of the series, but I would love to get this reprinted. I've heard this is a phenomenal racing bicycle manga. So down here on the last two rows, I have a bunch of light novels and then regular novels and anime Blu-rays. I am not going to go over that stuff today. If you are interested in me going through that more meticulously, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to make a video on that separately. I just know that several people just don't really care about that stuff or they don't collect that stuff. That's why I'm just sticking with the manga for today. So throughout the video, you've heard me reference the TBR shelf. This is my TBR. I don't have these in my collection just so that they're easy access things that I can just grab so I don't have to go into the collection and try to find it and keep track of it I'm not gonna go over everything here I'm just gonna kind of like read through what I've got in here we have the do over damsel conquers the dragon emperor one and two there's eminence in shadow nine vending machine two then we have the alchemist survives and now wants to live a quiet life volume one we have what is this oh my goodness see there's stuff in here i just like have no clue about the reformation of the world overseen by the realist demon king volume one we've got receptionist in a magical world two and three pandora seven two game of familia one sugar apple fairy tale two shadow house five and six the red thread one and two shy four and five we have the witch's marriage one and two touring after the apocalypse four land of lee dale Five, we have The Curse Casting Vampirist, Volume 3. Whoever Stole This Book, Volume 1. I heard really good things about this one. Uh, I Want to Be a Guild Receptionist, but I'll solo any boss on time. This is Volume 2. Oshinoko, Volume 5. The Villainous Stands the Hero, 2 and 3. Tsubaki Show Lonely Planet, Volume 6. Then we go into some manhwa here. Remarried Empress, 5, 6. Bloody Sweet 2. See You in My 19th Life, 1. Business Proposal 234, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim 2 and 3, Villains Are Destined to Die 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have Magical Girl Incident 2, Kowloon Generic Romance 5 and 6, Doomsday with My Dog 4, Madoka Magica The Movie Rebellion 1, 2, and 3 in the Omnibus, uh, Primal, Primal Gods and Ancient Times Volume 2, The Essence of Being Amused 2 and 3, Tokyo Babylon Volume 2, my Broken Mariko, Volume 1 down there, that blue hardcover with the slipcover on it. Ron, your new legs, 3, 4, and 5. Then we have My Mate is a Feline Gentleman, 1 and 2. After We Gaze at the Starry Sky, 1. Minato's Laundromat, 1 and 2. Adult Picture Book, Volume 1. Witch in the Night Must Survive, Volume 2. And Rast, one, the third volume of the Rascal Dreams of Bunny Senpai series. This is Logical Witch. So this is the manga adaptation, obviously. And then we're going to move up here. These are all the non-yen press stuff that I have in here. I'm not going to go over everything in here. I just want to show you some of the new things that I didn't talk about. Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You, Volume 1 is right there. We go back here. We have Teasing Master Takagi-san, Volume 1. All the other things I have addressed in the video. After pulling this stack off here, we've got some new stuff here. Lazy Dungeon Master, Volume 1. School Live, Volume 1. Kakuryo, Volume 1. Hunting with My Elf Wife volume one and like a butterfly volumes one and two we've got two things here demons of the shadow realm volume one by uh, hiromi arakawa blade of the moon princess volume one this is by endo sensei from spy family then we've got shoha shoten volume one and two helk volume one sacrificial princess and the beast volumes one two and three magia the ninth volumes one and two and a madoka magica the another story volume one pulling this stuff off of here we've got tokyo these days volume one uzumaki in the omnibus format Ichi F. This is a historical non-fiction manga about the power plant explosion. Very interesting. We have The Great Cleric, Volume 1. Agents of the Four Seasons is a light novel. This is by the same creator as Violet Evergarden, which is awesome. We have Nina the Starry Bride, Volume 1. The Darwin Incident, Volume 1. We have Boat Live Volume 1, that's an indie manga, and Igaguri Volume 1. This is a compilation of chapters showing off the first martial arts judo manga. Very, very cool. Right over there, we also have Orb Volumes 1 and 2 in the Omnibus. That's a historical fiction manga, critically acclaimed. And also down here, we have some other things as well. Murakami manga stories. We have Everything is Fine. This is a graphic novel. We have the Wolverine manga. 
We also have uh, Afro Samurai, which is a two volume manga. And we have this little art book slash manga, Steam Reverie in Amber. And that is it for my manga collection video for 2024. I hope that you enjoyed a look into my manga collection. Lots of amazing things that I need to read and lots of amazing things that I have read. And I hope that you see that this is a labor of love and something that I really take pride in. As always, if you enjoy the content of my videos, make sure you hit that like button, tap the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when more of my videos come out. And I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.